88% free throw shooter normally would hit that one. Kind of a big shot right there because he could have got this lead surprisingly in a position where they could have gone in at single digits. A.J. Moy got it. The Rector's on the floor. Got to give Rector a lot of credit. He's shown a lot of guts out here today, but really is handicapped. There again, in traffic. And what happened? And Rector actually outboxed Moy. He grabbed him by the arm, and then Moy gets called for the foul. Watch Rector coming off. See, he has Moy pinned there, and Moy gets the foul. <laughs> A little veteran move on the freshman. Moy complaining to Mike Davis, saying, hey, he's holding me. The striped shirts are going in the other direction. <laughs> Hogan has come back, replacing Boyd for Iowa, and Wrecker is at the line. Shoots one more. He had 12 20-point games at Indiana. You know, he, he, really a fine score. Matter of fact, uh, Jared Jeffries, in the history of Indiana basketball, have only been 14 freshmen. We've averaged in double figures. Three of them are in the building here. There's Moy, up, no good. Moy's an excellent leaper, 40-inch vertical. And here's Wrecker, who is one of the, the 14. And the other, Jared Jeffries, who is playing for Indiana, averaging in double figures, and Steve Alford as well. Now Hogan. Wrecker, catch and shoot. There he is again, wide open. When he's wide open, he comes down on two legs. He does a job, did a terrific job getting the screen. And can you believe this score? Down by nine. Three-pointer no good. Big possession right here. Oliver's got to take his time. He dishes no. right side right to Jeffries. No, not a good decision on his part. Steve Alford very upset with him. That was the time to come down and get the good shot. A lapse by the senior, the only senior on the floor. Here's Jeffries, also is Thompson, and Thompson is called for the foul. Tonight on CBS, catch a live performance by pop music's most electrifying entertainer. It's Ricky Martin's Super Bowl Saturday night, tonight on CBS, the home of Super Bowl 35. Jeffries, beautiful oh, drive. Yes, it was. Listed at 6'10", plays even bigger, and he can put the ball on the floor. Nice, soft touch. Outstanding player. Beat out Zach Randolph for Mr. Basketball in Indiana. We've seen him play a number of times, so that's quite an accomplishment. There's Rucker. Little pick and roll. Evans, nope, not the shot you want. When you figure two of the last three possessions by Iowa really hurt them. I mean, they had an opportunity to get this thing down there to single digits. Made some bad decisions. Oliver on Coverdale. Boy decides not to take that three-pointer and record backs off. Hornsby, nice jumper. Yes, beautiful change off the pass by Hornsby. And it's back to a 13-point lead. Well, you make those kind of mental mistakes in your Iowa playing as poorly as they have in the first half, and it really can hurt you. He just can't move a lot of He really can't. He would have been able to, with that fake, he'd have been able to put the ball on the floor and go all the way to the basket or maybe pull up for a 12-footer, but he just can't go more than one or two dribbles. Andre Owens back on the floor now. His record limps down to a defensive position. It's Coverdale, Hornsby, Owens, Jeffries, and Kirk Haston for Indiana. Boy, with 38 seconds to go, you'd have thought that maybe they bring Fife back into the ball game, have a little leadership out there on the floor. Really going with rookies. Haston, wow! Oh, oh, oh. Oh. That's that red shirt year as a freshman where he worked on things that weren't in his repertoire. And now he's got the long jump shot, the half hook, the full hook. That was the old George Mikan drill shot. Another hold. Whistle away from the ball. 
I think they got Andre Owens. Wrecker still trying to move well without that ball, despite the leg problems. And this is two fouls he's picked up on Indiana. Moving for the ball and being held. That's rare. 90% free throw shooter missing two in the first half. Owens, 20 on 20 with Oliver guarding him. Here's Aston. That foul. He still made the shot. My goodness. Two big shots. One the turnaround jumper and one the beautiful hook. One of the Big Ten's premier players. Indiana ends the half with an 8-0 run after Iowa had cut the lead to 9, but all of a sudden, it's 17 at the end of the half with a score 43-26. We'll return with Jim Nance in Tampa, Billy and Dick Enberg, reminiscences of Al McGuire after this word. The ancient spice route, June 22nd. The first time I made my own road got lost on purpose. Measured time in cups of mint tea. Super Bowl Sunday kicks off with MTV's TRL. Phil Sims reveals his all-iron team. And go virtual with Extreme Super Bowl. Super Bowl 35 is on CBS. The King of Queens, Mondays on CBS. It's all here. Conquer the cold and save 20 to 50% on a huge selection of merchandise during Active Endeavor's winter sale going on right now. Save 20 to 50% off select insulated jackets by Patagonia, the North Face, Mountain Hardware, and more. Save big on winter gloves, scarves, mittens, and caps, plus a great selection of outdoor boots and shoes. Save up to 50% off select sportswear for men, women, and kids, and save on select ski packages. Beat the cold with quality selection and savings during our giant winter sale at Active Endeavor's in Iowa City, Des Moines, and Davenport. Your local Ford store has two things to say. Zero nine and zero worries. Get low zero nine financing or a thousand cash back on a 2001 Ford Taurus and a 2001 Ford Windstar. Both offer the government's five star safety rating and available adjustable pedals. Zero nine and zero worries. Get the security of Ford's personal safety system and the value of your own personal saving system. Zero nine and zero worries. Only for a limited time and only at your local Ford store. Add warmth and beauty to your home with luxurious area rugs from Randy's Carpets and Interiors. At Randy's, we offer Iowa's best selection of fine quality area rugs in dozens of styles and colors. The perfect way to accent any wood, tile, or vinyl floor. We also carry the Midwest's best price, best selection of quality carpet, vinyl flooring, custom ceramic tile, and hardwood floors, all installed by expert craftsmen. The most beautiful homes start with Randy's Carpets and Interiors. Highway 6 West in Coralville and on Center Point Road in Cedar Rapids. Hi, I'm Dan Lynch, owner of Lynch Ford in Mount Vernon. And I often get asked, how are you guys selling so many cars? We see your cars all over the place. Well, the big part's our location. We're only 15 minutes east of Cedar Rapids and only 20 minutes north of Iowa City. But the real reason is because of how we treat our customers. You see, I believe in every department of our dealership, we can provide you with a level of service that, quite frankly, our competitors can't match. It's an environment that's friendly, comfortable, and one that our customers tell us they really enjoy. Lynch Ford in Mount Vernon. Come see for yourself how we're selling a lot of cars in a very different way. Andromeda, tonight at 10.35 on KGAM. Cincinnati for the first time since 1966, a close one. Look at Notre Dame here, now starting to pull away from Georgetown. It wasn't that way early. Mike Bray's team saw Georgetown work it over to Wesley Wilson, and Georgetown led by four. Ryan Humphrey, the transfer from Oklahoma, over to Troy Murphy, who fouled out of this game with four minutes left, but Murphy scored on that one, two of his 16. And then Martin Inglesby would tie it with the three, and now, look at it, the Irish, 12-5. and five. Look like they're going to hand the Hoyas their second line of the year if they can hold on. Texas and Arizona Wildcats are getting hot now, having won five straight, and they had a 17-4 run in that first half. Here's a real quick look at the CBS Sports line. Fan poll, the top ten. Here's how you voted. I want to remind you, don't forget to cast your vote for your favorite teams by logging on to cbs.sportsline.com, and AOL users, the keyword is CBS Sports Line. Number one, of course, Stanford. Turning quickly to golf at the Phoenix Open, presented by Xerox. They've completed now two rounds of play. Mark Kalkovecchia shot 60 
yesterday. He leads by five over Scott Verplank. Tiger Woods, after 73 in the second round, is 13 shots behind. And we'll have live coverage of the Phoenix Open on CBS at 3 o'clock Eastern time this afternoon, right after the basketball game. All right, earlier here in Tampa, both teams were out on the field for their walkthroughs. There's Michael Strand, Jason Seahorn. By the way, the temperature tomorrow is supposed to be in the mid-60s. Just beautiful skies here. Shannon Sharp and the Ravens were next. Ray Lewis and all getting set for the Super Bowl tomorrow. And a reminder, CBS Sports coverage of all the Super Bowl festivities gets underway at noon Eastern, getting you set for the Baltimore-New York Giants game Super Bowl 35 at 6 o'clock tomorrow. You know, all of us here at CBS were deeply saddened by the passing yesterday of our beloved colleague, Al McGuire, at the age of 72. Through the years, he enchanted everyone whose life he touched with his irrepressible wit, his contagious laugh, and his deep love of life and college basketball. Al had a unique philosophical approach to the game. It enabled him to learn from the highs as when he took Marquette to a national title in 77 and to appreciate the lows. When you win, your ball players are jumping on top of the training table and throwing the towels around, and it's like um, above the trees. And when you lose, the ball players got towels over their heads and they're kind of teary-eyed most of the time. That night, you put your collar up and you um, walk the streets. But it was good to walk the streets. That allowed you to feel so high when you won. First of all, I like being called coach. Second, I thoroughly like being called coach. And I really am coach now. And I always wanted to sit in the front of the bus. For my last game, yet I finished with the news medias, I went out to the bus. And the bus was mobbed. I get on the bus, and the front seat was empty. That was the last time. I really cry over. That was the last time I sat in the front seat. Had a good time, see you. You know, there's supposed to be something on the old, whatever, gravestone, you know. Had a good time, I'll see you. What a beautiful man, Al McGuire. Part of that wonderful triumvirate, too, of Inberg, Packer, McGuire, and Dick Inberg is with uh, me here in Tampa. Of course, Billy Packer's with us now out in Iowa City. And gentlemen, I know this isn't going to be easy, but let's uh, let's talk about this great friend that we all had, yeah. Dick. Yeah, loved him like a dad. Uh, used his own language. Uh, he was such an original. He, he would have called himself a dinosaur. And there won't be anyone uh, again like him. He was a genius. He was a giant in the way he knew people, how to run a game. Maybe one of the best bench coaches uh, ever. And in terms of the team, people have asked me the last 24 hours, you know, how did it all work? It worked because Al, who was really the spice and the flavor of our uh, triumvirate, uh, he didn't want to be the star. Yeah, and yet he had a star system when he coached at Marquette. He was a contradiction, wasn't he, Billy? You know, Dick, I'm not going to let you get away with you. You looked upon him like a dad. <laughs> I have to remember a game at Notre Dame when this was between the time when you were a single man and you were looking over the cheerleaders. And Al said to me, hey, Dixie's, uh, he's got his mind in the wrong place. And one of those cheerleaders came over and said, oh, uh, uh, Mr. Enberg, my mother wanted to say hello to you. And so let's not put him in a situation where he was like your dad. You know, he was a special guy. And... Uh, we can tell stories about him for the next, uh, uh, every day, the rest of our lives. And you probably will, Billy. And I know you had a chance just last week to visit with him. And, Dick, you had seen Al in uh, recent weeks as well. And he was a man who was prepared for everything right to the yeah. end, wasn't he? He told me, Billy, he said, you know, I've had a beautiful life, Dixie. And you know what? I'm going to have a beautiful death. And he really had control of every moment right to the very end, including the funeral on Monday. The wake on Tuesday, he's going to have a cash bar. He says, we're all going to have to pay. <laughs> Even when he's gone, we're going to have to pay the bartender. <laughs> Billy, what was well, like, well, that like for you last week when you visited with Al? Well, it was a great day in this respect. Um, we laughed a lot. We cried a lot. Um, but uh, we covered uh, we covered the waterfront. And as a matter of fact, right up to the last day, uh, things came out ab about him uh, and stories that he told that I had never heard before. Uh, it was always an incredible experience being around him. It was a special day. You know, last February here on CBS, the three of you were reunited for one more game. Mm -hmm. 
What was that like for you two? Well, you know, we were all worried that everyone would expect us just to pick up where we left off, and that was impossible. We couldn't, we couldn't do that. But there was a moment in the second half where Billy asked Al for his All-America team, and he named five guys, and Billy said, not one of those guys will make it. You didn't even name the best player of the year. He said, I didn't want to jinx them. <laughs> that was Al. For you, Billy? Well, you know, I'm right here at Iowa, and I have uh, so many memories about the times we've been, we were to Iowa together, but we broadcast a game without a play-by-play -play announcer, both of us realizing we were out of our element. But we did the game, and when I got to the arena the day before, Al was so nervous, which was unlike him, and he was nervous right up to game time, and, and, and then right up to the first time when I threw it to commercial, and he put his arm around me and said, baby, I didn't think you could do that. <laughs> it made me so nervous. Uh, so he was looking out for my benefit, not for his. Uh, we weren't very good, but we had a great time together. You know, I know there are a lot of heavy hearts today, but you're going to be smiling and laughing when you think about Al McGuire the rest of your life, aren't you? Yeah, when he took that right-hand turn, he said that got you away from the agenda yep. into the real life. He's taken the ultimate right-hand turn. Thank you, Dick. Okay. And Billy, I know you're getting set for the second half. Thank you so much. Thanks, guys. Thanks for being with us on Singular at the Half. Second half from Iowa City is coming up next. There's a place where all people come together to enjoy friends and the good food of life. It's got to be Applebee's. Oh my, Applebee's steak toppers. Tender top sirloin decked out in your choice of South Philly cheese, Louisiana pepper char grill, or ooh wee, Carolina pit barbecue. It's got to be Applebee's. Abundant power, rugged real-time four-wheel drive, and a deceptively large amount of headroom. Hi. Um, we just wanted to let you know your blinker's been on. The CRV from Honda. <laughs> <laughs> What was the composer thinking when he wrote this? How do you take a company public? What does the human genome look like? What defines peak performance? How has information technology changed the way people live and work? Can you really teach creativity? Indiana University. Amazing. I didn't have it easy growing up. But I thought if I had the right opportunity, a place where I could recognize my potential, I always imagined that I could make a difference in life. Imagine that. Forty-three twenty-six, Indiana leading by 17 on the road. One of the biggest plays this season, Kirk Hastings' three-pointer with almost no time left as Indiana handed Michigan State its only defeat of the season. Hastings from three to give Indiana a one-point edge, 59-58. And it's time for Nortel Network's virtual playback. Billy? Well, here's where we're going to see this play develop. And what Haston does is go down and set a double screen for a curl. And then as the ball is rotated, Randolph, who tries to come out with a hedge move, gets lost a little bit, and it gives Haston the opportunity to come up there with a three-point shot. We'll see the play in live action. Here's the double team. We're going to see the curl coming right here. And Randolph will make the decision to hedge out to block that pass being rotated, then spins around and loses sight of his man. When he does, Haston steps out, gives him just enough space to hit that three that knocked off Michigan State. 
the junior from Lobelville, Tennessee, a three-pointer. And Indiana playing well here today as well. Our coverage of basketball continues after this word from your local station. Forms like a Mercedes, no matter where it goes. What is this, some kind of joke to you? Come on, that's it, hit it! Hit, good, hit! That's it, hit it! Come on now, we will be here all day until we get this right! Uh, Do you understand me? These two of these are killing me. Man, I'm whipped. Don't you have me come over there! Who will be the ultimate survivor? Will it be Dave, the late-night talk show host? I don't think I could survive <laughs> without another pina colada. Right, girls? Now you can watch all the games of the first three rounds in their entirety as DirecTV supplements CBS's coverage of the NCAA Basketball Championship. JAG, TV's number one action drama, CBS Tuesday. It's all here. It's news. Big news. Big news at Hardee's, new tender steak sandwiches. Delicious Philly tender steak or deluxe tender steak. We slice the steak thin so it's super tender and juicy. Try a little tenderness with new tender steak sandwiches. Philly steak or deluxe, only Hardee's has them. It's happening at Hardee's. Big news. Just when you thought you missed it, it's back. Zero nine. Now is your last chance to get into one of America's best-selling sport utilities, a 2001 Explorer four-door, a 2001 Expedition, or a 2001 Excursion, all with 0.9% financing. Zero nine. Get the sport utility you want and get the deal you deserve. Only for a limited time and only at your local Ford store. Seinfeld, weeknights at 6.30 on KGAN. CBA Sports coverage of the Road to the Final Four is sponsored by Hershey's. Be sure to check out the Hershey's Million Dollar Kick during the Super Bowl Sunday pregame show on CBS. And let's take a quick look at the autotrader.com halftime stats. Offensive rebounds 11 to 2 and points in the paint 14 to 4. Well, Reggie Evans, who's had a monstrous season so far, 0 for 3 from the floor, only 3 rebounds, 4 turnovers. This from a man who is averaging 16 points and 12 rebounds per game. Here's Iowa with the ball. Rector behind the back dribble. Nice ball. Ryder actually screened off basically four Indiana players to make that open lane. Fife had no help. Full court pressure. There's the trap. Evans, now Jeffries gets right by him and finds Haston underneath for two. Nice hesitation by Haston. Why would no one pick up a six foot ten man dribbling the ball the length of the floor? I mean, go attack him. Make him make a play, not at the last minute, but when he's 60 feet from the basket. Kirk Haston with 12 for Indiana underneath. Evans, foul will go to the line. A lot of space there given to give Evans that opportunity. This season, Indiana against opponents ranked at the time they played. For example, Notre Dame, then number 10. Charlotte was then 24. And the big win of the season was the victory over Michigan State. They lost to Tennessee and lost to Wisconsin. Both of these teams have lost to Wisconsin. That incredible defense. has had trouble with all year long. He's been free throw shooting, and that's two out of three for him. Nice rotation. And let's see if they stay in the press. 2-2-1. Two, two, and a 1-3 set up, and they're going three-quarter court. A little different than the last press they put on, which was full court. They drop back into the zone of the man-to-man. -man. Let's see. Wrecker wasn't sure. The 2-3 zone. Now, 
by he flips underneath the Newton settles for Hastings for three air ball Henderson gets it Oliver wants to hurry the pace Dean Oliver the only senior on the floor you have a working margin like this in your Indiana you don't want to take those shots make Iowa's defense have to work Wrecker for three second time today Wrecker once on a fast break and that time on the half court faded to the side Oliver was able to find him 15 points for the junior from Auburn Indiana there's Haston he'll pass in the shot Reiner comes out margin is 12 Jeffries that's for three nope you notice how Jeffries was floating before he took that shot instead of squaring up to the basket. Tipped out to Wrecker. Almost loses control. Well, he just doesn't have that one leg to explode off on and drive to the basket. You really ought to crowd him if you're guarding him. Knocks it down. And was hit. What a legendary performance by a guy playing on one leg against the team he used to star for. You watch this. Despite his old roommate put him right on the floor and he still buried it. Masterson. ID check, sir. With 63 personalized features, it's the luxury sports sedan that recognizes you. It clear, sir. The Bonneville SSEI. Luxury with attitude. By Pontiac. They haven't stopped cheering. And here's that press again, Vern. Picking up three-quarter court. Dean Oliver has it, kicks it right. Henderson keeps the dribble alive. Reiner finds Evans. Nice, strong move. He rolled that one in. We're seeing a team that's not playing pretty, but they're playing hard. A 10-0 run. Hornsby silences the crowd. Really solid play by Hornsby off the bench today. Indiana jumped out to a 19-3 lead. There's a foul on Fife. That's number three tomorrow, right after the Super Bowl. 16 new castaways try to out, win out, play and outlast each other. The premiere of the most anticipated show of the season, Survivor, the Australian Outback, tomorrow after the Super Bowl. Oliver. Back outside to Evans, puts it on the floor, dishes to Reiner, who was not quite ready for it, but a foul was called. Evans really slashed to the basket nicely. He has not shown us he's a very good ball handler, but that was a pretty good dunk. Four fouls on Fife, that really hurts Indiana. You've got a guy out there with a lot of experience and a good defender, and now you have to come back in with a freshman. Dane Fife got called for the foul, didn't hesitate, headed right for the bench. Here's A.J. Moy, a 6'3 freshman out of Atlanta. Record will inbound. Mike Davis trying to get the officials to look at him and say, hey, I've got a guy sitting here over the bench with four fouls on him, and nobody's getting called for any fouls from Iowa. And you see Record running and running and running, trying to get free without the ball. Oliver, back outside to Evans. He's probably not going to take that jumper. Duez Henderson. And a foul inside. Basket counts. It'll be on Evans. Slashing for the offensive rebound. Evans trying to go ahead and encourage the crowd. Oliver grabs and says, hey, get where you belong, which is down there being the point man on the zone, full court press. The basket does count. The foul is on Evans. The trap, they get it to Coverdale. Again, nobody picking up the dribbler, allowing Indiana to have a good opportunity to get a good shot off. 
Ornsby long with a shot into the hands of Wrecker. Been on fire. Still is. Imagine this. They're allowing a guy who can't run to have open shots. You've got to force Wrecker to put the ball on the floor and dribble. A real breakdown defensively by Indiana. She's in the Black Bonneville. The Bonneville with Magnus Deer. It uses an advanced magnetic field for handling so precise, it can even outmaneuver itself. Stop all Black Bonnevilles. The Bonneville SSEI. Luxury with attitude. By Pontiac. They still have it let up. Wrecker with 28 against Iowa State this year. Had the game winner with 26 against Drake. But he didn't do those on one leg. Today he is lighting it up on one leg. And if you're Indiana, you have got to go ahead and get tight with him, force him to dribble the ball and put it on the floor and drive. Because he is hitting that stand still one-handed. 9 of 12 from three-point range. And unblemished in this half, Iowa has hit all six of its field goal attempts. Here's Jeffries penetrating. Offensive? No. Well, I'm going to give Mike Davis some credit unless they do call it an offensive foul. Now they do. He's been working these officials and not getting any calls. And he's getting very frustrated on that sideline. Worley will come on for Jared Reiner, the 6'11 freshman. Four team fouls on Indiana, only one for Iowa. Now, just to recap, this is as close as Iowa has been since it was 7-3 to three Indiana. And Indiana went back to the big lineup, bringing Newton back out on the floor. Duez Henderson, number 23, guarded by Newton. And a trade's off the glass. No, rebound Evans. Kicked out. Oliver saves it. Newton with an incredible block there. Now, Wrecker is guarded by Hornsby. Hornsby should get right in his face and make him dribble. See, he's allowing him to shoot the jump shot. Wrecker's got nowhere where he can go if he has to put it on that second dribble. Jeffries with the entry pass. Little turn turnaround. Henderson clears Hayton's miss. Hayton's miss. Oliver, jumper. No. Tip. Yes. Beautifully timed. Henderson rebounds on both ends of the floor. This is an amazing comeback when you find an Iowa team playing so poorly. Find themselves in a position now with one more possession to tie this thing up. Coverdale from the corner. Here comes Iowa with a chance to tie or take the lead. That's three straight rebounds by Henderson. Worley, the freshman, muscles his way. Blocked by Haston. Haston off and running. Can Cover Coverdale find him? Back it goes to Newton. Spin move. Nice adjustment. He'll shoot free throws. Jeffries, Newton, and Haston all have that ability with a little jump shot outside to put the ball on the floor and make a dish. Second foul on record. Here's the uh, Iowa record against ranked opponents. One of their big victories against Illinois. They also knocked off Iowa State. Losses to Tennessee and at Wisconsin. Illinois, the opener of the Big Ten season for him. The Illinois-Michigan State matchup is going to be something. They only play one time this year in the regular season. And of course, this conference will have the postseason tournament in Chicago. And you'd have to expect, Vern, I know it's an awful early, not into February yet, but this league is probably going to go in a minimum six deep. So that tournament will really have some quality teams in it. One of two at the line for Newton. Ryan Hogan back on for Steve Arford. Wearing number two and guarded by Newton. Hogan had a very good first half. Got the only shining light for Iowa at that point. Now Worley looks inside for Evans. Finds him. Double down. Up and under. He is so strong. The junior college product. And has taken this Big Ten by storm. 
imagine this. They have a chance to tie. They got a chance to tie with a free throw shooter that on the year has had all kinds of problems shooting only 58%, but today he's been able to drain them. Got pretty good rotation on the shot. Nope. That one backed away from it. First time today. Indiana by one. And here's where it really hurts Indiana to have Fife on that bench with the four fouls. Hornsby and Fife there, they've been the two steadying influences in the backcourt. There's the freshman Andre Owens to Coverdale, the sophomore. Double down, good job by Wrecker. Guarding Haston, helping out Worley up and under, too strong. Kept alive, Worley with the rebound. Worley, Henderson, and Evans have really been controlling the boards. And a chance for the lead for the first time in the game. I don't know about that shot. No, nope, no, nope, that's not what Steve Offord wanted at all. Wrecker's such a competitor, though. He's wanting to take it all. What Steve Alford wanted in that possession to get the ball down inside to Evans. Spread him out. Get it down low. There's the double. The help coming from Hogan. Haston left open. Off the front rim. And another chance for Iowa. When's the last time you remember Indiana getting an offensive rebound? I mean, it's been one and done this entire half. Oliver, no. Rebound. And Worley puts it on the floor. This is some comeback. Ugly basketball for a long time. And I'm going to give this crowd a lot of respect. And their team was playing terrible basketball, and they stuck with them. Now Indiana trying to do crazy things. And again, here's where fight really hurts, being on that bench. Indiana was up by 17 at the half. They trailed by one, and we've yet to complete eight minutes in this half. Worley. That's the end. Lefty up. Two huge baskets. We need a car. A minivan. SUV. <gasps> With leather. Blue. Green. Blue screen. Welcome to autotrader.com. With a million and a half used cars updated daily, it's the biggest, best used car site on the planet. Now we need insurance. And a loan. Autotrader.com. Your car is waiting. Mike uh, Davis continues to chat yeah. amiably. You know, he's a rookie coach as a, in a head position. He's got to realize now that he's on the road. Maybe he didn't get the calls that he thinks, but he's got to focus back in on his squad right now. The squad is totally lost. It's a 24-4 run. You've got to figure out that the guys in the striped shirts are not the whole answer. Rebounds have something to do with it. 14-4. Yep. Ball handling. Facing things out, getting the ball in the hands of the right guy to shoot. Hastings not on the floor right now, so where are the points going to come from? Hornsby tries to give him three, and he does. Hornsby has really been solid today. Off the bench, Hornsby and Hogan have helped both their clubs. Kyle Hornsby with 11 points, and the score tied at 52. He had 14 at Minnesota, so not unusual for him to give that kind of production. Evans blocked possession arrow Indiana and what Steve Alford wanted right there he wanted that he was being shoved out underneath the basket Mike Davis is 15 feet out on the floor still pleading this is my killer DVD system this is my killer DVD rental section Twin wave laser pickup, progressive scan output, turn of the century dramas, futuristic sci fi comedies, 42 inches, a thousand movies. You have the hardware, Blockbuster has the software. 
We have more DVDs to rent than ever. And you like your DVD. Or the next one's free. High density plastic resin containment unit. The best way to DVD is Blockbuster. Bringing entertainment home. your breakfast table it's your car take it to Midas for our new BSD brakes for enhanced performance and our lifetime guarantee see Midas today for our new BSD brakes go Midas this is your mouse on one of those other sports sites this is your mouse bursting through and scoring with CBS sportsline.com well, you've got to know more and fast Jared Reiner Mr. Taekwondo Brown Belt. Watch how he's going to seal off the entire Indiana team on his play as Wrecker reverses himself. Reiner goes down inside. He sets one screen, two screens, three screens, four screens. Wrecker goes in for the layup. Hey, he screened the entire population of Trip South Dakota. He really did. He had it. <laughs> and Wrecker recognized it. And here gives Steve Alford a lot of credit. The pickup full court and three quarter court has taken Indiana out of their offense. Put it in the hand of Jared Jeffries, and he finds uh, Andre Owens. It's interesting. Jeffries has been the key man in trying to break the press on almost all occasions. He's a good ball handler, but very inexperienced. Hastings still on the bench for Indiana. That basket goes. And I don't know why in this particular situation. I mean, they can't afford to rest him much longer. Jeffries has 12 after that basket. And Indiana back up by two. Giving Rector a rest out here right now, trying to figure to stay in the lead. Keep him as healthy as possible down the wire. Evans, a non-factor in the first half, has been a presence in this half. That one tipped. Uh, Evans doesn't recognize that he's being doubled down, and Newton is so tall coming from behind. And here's Newton at the other end, in and out. Worley. A lot of energy from Glenn Worley. Worley and Henderson really helping Evans out on the boards. Steve Offer not waiting long to get Wrecker back in there, is he? No, nope. he'll be back in at the next dead ball. Courtney Scott also getting set to come on for Iowa. Here's Evans again. Nice cut. Sure was. And a chance for a free throw. Nice cut and nice look by Evans. And what really throws Indiana is that they love to double down on Evans, and everybody was looking at him. Nobody paying attention to Hogan, who made a perfect cut. Biggest event of the year coming up tomorrow, the Super Bowl 35. Ravens and Giants tomorrow afternoon on CBS. And then the uh, season premiere of Survivor from the Outback. That's tomorrow on CBS. A little history took place here, uh, Vern, on, not on this court, but in Iowa, University of Iowa. First college game ever played five on five was played at the University of Iowa. What year? 1896. Whoops. Not again. Oh, oh no. Sometimes the greatest challenge for an SUV isn't going off-road, but staying on. DM-Class, 
the only SUV that drives like a Mercedes. In one day, Survivor Australian Outback premieres on CBS right after the Super Bowl. A customer lounge designed with you in mind to work or just relax. In fact, some customers wait here even after their car is ready. There's a new sign of progressive, efficient farming. Powerfarm.com puts you in charge when you want it, where you want it. Farm inputs, financing, leasing, and something you won't find on other websites. I would recommend Support. It's a sign of the times, a sign of success, a sign you should be clicking on. Powerfarm.com, your power source for crop inputs, financing, and more. When you buy a home from us, we'll take care of you all the way. Depend on it. That's the Hames way. Make it your way. Come see us. We're the homes people. At Fin and Feather, we're serious about clothing and footwear. But don't take our word for it. The boot fitting staff at Fin and Feather were very helpful and knowledgeable. Our feet were fitted perfectly in preparation for our backpacking trip. Looking for quality outdoor apparel? When it comes to active wear for the whole family, we carry the selection you've been looking for at prices you can afford. Before you go outdoors, go to the store that knows. Fin and Feather. There's a Grover Chevrolet in New Hall, where our customers drive our business. We are the dealership with big city selection and small town courtesy and price. Linder Tire. Quality and service since 1932. They come in all flavors here in the Corn Belt. 55-54, Hawkeyes lead. Let's take you back to generation 1976. And Michigan against Indiana for the NCAA National Championship in Philadelphia. Despite the grainy film, it was a heck of a game and effort by Indiana, Bill. Well, first time ever two teams from the same conference faced each other for the National Championship. Indiana had three games in Michigan that year, won all three, obviously. And uh, three outstanding, the other two were outstanding contests. That one, even though Michigan got an early lead, Indiana came back and controlled it. Shot short from Jared Jeffries. Iowa has it and a one-point lead. And Worley's sixth rebound in this game. Freshman from Iowa City West. Massachusetts. Hands Temple a defeat. Here comes Indiana. Could have, a, could have been a call on that play that time. Jeffries wasn't paying attention. Hornsby and Rucker is there for the rebound for the Hawkeye. That's five rebounds for Luke Rucker. Oliver, away off the glass. Worley's there. And so is Kirk Hastings. Well, Worley's vertical leap is about three inches. We talked about, you know, he really, he doesn't get off the ground at all, but he takes up a lot of space. Pretty good hands, doesn't mind banging out there. But not a leaper. Now a record picked up by Hornsby. Again, Fife on the bench. Four fouls and no call there. Hastings clears it. Key now for Indiana. Get the ball in Hastings' hands as much as possible. Courtney Scott, the freshman for Lansing, Michigan. There's Hastings. Now the switch. Here's Owens. Hastings over the back. Coming next, CBS Sports coverage of the Phoenix Open presented by Xerox will continue. Not that round by Mark Kalkovecchia yesterday. Tiger Woods well back. Kalkovecchia with a round of 60. That's in 6-0. When's the last time you had a uh, hole in one in a par four that bounced off somebody's putter head? Andrew, I've never had that. Huh? Andrew McGee, double eagle in a par four earlier this week. That was extraordinary. Courtney Scott, high school teammate. You think he hollered four on that one? Huh? The guys are on the green. You know, they're driving the green. Instead, he hollers four. The guys holler back one. I saw the video. <laughs> <laughs> he had a sheepish grin, shall we say, when he uh, it went off Tom Byron's putter on the green and went in the hole from about eight feet away. I've heard of rubber the green, but that's the all-time. 57-54. Again, Indiana has got to get the ball in Hastings' hands. Great steal by Evans. Wrecker for three. No. The tip. Yes. Courtney Scott. My, oh, my. That press 
Brooks has given Indiana all kinds of trouble. Oliver with a steal. Got it away from Jeffries. Into the hands of Scott. I feel like Tom Davis is back coaching at Iowa. Steve Alford taking a page out of his book. You know, he played for Bob Knight. Bob Knight never pressed. So he picked it up somewhere. Steve Alford replacing Dr. Tom Davis, who still resides here in Iowa City. But the unpleasantness of his dismissal such that he does not attend games. How about that? Hustle. It's a matter of wanting it more. That's all there is to it. This Iowa team could not have performed more poorly in the first half than what we saw. And they have come out with heart and spirit and give a lot of credit again to these fans that really picked their team up when they needed it. Andre Owens for three at the other end. Points coming from unlikely places, though, from Indiana. They're not back into the solid basketball. Bain Five getting ready to come back on the floor. Picked up his third and fourth fouls very early in this half. Evans wants it. Haston getting ready to go back and double him. Here's Wrecker again. Courtney Scott. Nice elevation by Scott. He wanted the foul, didn't get it. Foul is on Reggie Evans, his second. An amazing turnaround for Iowa with a 24-4 run to open this half. There is a car moving in a new direction. Which direction are you moving in? The new Volvo S60. Last week, this company's website went live. The employees are celebrating their success by gathering in revelry. They are exhilarated by the onslaught of new customers. Yet, no one has visited the server in days because no one has had to. The server's software is not offended because the software knows no loneliness. Always reliable and never needy. Enterprise software from Microsoft. It's your breakfast table. It's your car. Take it to Midas for our new BSD brakes for enhanced performance and our lifetime guarantee. See Midas today for our new BSD brakes. Go Midas. <laughs> Jolly Rancher Cherry. It is more than a trial by fire. It is a rite of passage. And if you can master your fear, outsmart your enemy, and never yield even to yourself, you will be changed forever. The few, the proud, the Marines. Iowa down 17 and a half, up by four now with 7.22 to go. If it's true that rebounding is hustle and effort, what hustle and effort by Iowa in this half? We're out-rebounded 25 to 12 in the first half and are out-rebounding Indiana 22 to 7 in the second. Turn this game around completely with their full court pressure and getting on the glass and just out-hustling Indiana. Fife back into the ball game, smiling down at one end of the court. No time to smile if you're wearing red. This Joined on the floor, excuse me, Billy, by Coverdale, Owens, Jeffries, and Haston. Dean Oliver picks up Tom Coverdale. See how the press has changed. Now a straight man to man, full court pressure. Oliver gets back, finds Haston, double team. Here's Oliver. And nice Fife took the ball. Yeah, Oliver for three. No. It was Fife who took the charge. There was no call. Now Coverdale at the other end. Up and under. Huge play there. Coverdale with six points. The margin of difference is two. Duez Henderson, Reggie Evans. 
and Haston got there. Beautiful anticipation by Haston. He saw the cut coming. And what a bad pass. Watch the no-call, Billy. The reason there's no call, there's no advantage gained here. Gives the ball up. The offense nor the defense got an advantage. What a nice play. And by giving up the ball, Oliver did not walk. And that's what usually happens in that call. Fife on Henderson. Evans peers underneath the record. He's guarded now by Andre Owens. Fife with those four fouls. Evans is going to drive. He is not going to take that shot. Now the senior point guard, Dean Oliver. Double puck. My goodness. He throws the defense with the double puck. Everybody anticipating the pass. He hasn't been hitting anything from the outside. But excellent penetration on that move. That is Dean Oliver's first basket of the day. He had been 0 for 7. Right side. Fife into Haston. That's going to be Scott pushing Haston from behind. Let's take a look at the CBS Sportsline stat of the game. Really just alluded to that. The margin difference in the second half by this Iowa rebounding unit, 22 to 8. That, as much as anything, propelled them back into the lead they now hold. A lot of it had to do with bad shot selection by Indiana and by having Fife on, the, on that bench with four fouls. They didn't have their best ball handler out there. Coverdale with Evans a little late getting there, but the shot from Owens is not good. I don't understand why Indiana has gotten away from getting that ball to Haston inside. Early in this ball game, he got a lot of touches. He hasn't hardly touched it at all here in the second half. How about that? And he didn't touch Scott either defensively. He went right around him. Like a toy soldier. A little passe doble there. Under five to go. Coverdale puts it on the floor. Got it. Oh, what a dandy shot that was. You know, it's interesting. He's a guy that can put points on the board. He is not a great shooter, but he is a scorer. He figures out ways to get points on the board. Iowa by four. Steve Alford wants that ball down inside. Let Evans touch it. He's got it. He can't That's, hold on to it. No, he does not have good hands. But he is... He is going to fumble a ball or two. And that I would say, you know, people have compared him with the great Buck Williams. He has a lot of comparison with regard to rebounding, but he doesn't have Buck's hands. Dane fight in the lane for two. You notice these referees have been very consistent on the charge block. They're just not calling it. A lot of guys hitting the floor, and the referees are just ignoring it. You like as that? A, as a player, you've got to adjust to it. That's the way the game's being called. Make sure you go ahead and, uh, Time and don't try to draw charges. They're not calling it. Time called by Iowa, and the clock is stopped with 3.51 to go. Hawkeyes by four. We can expect Amy. in the coming months his director of Amy. product development... Out. Paul News. Nice Got it. Nortel Networks is building the new high-performance internet, the wireless internet, with optical technology Overall. that makes it faster. Overall, this has been an exciting more year. Reliable. But, the months, but the next few months will mark the beginning of a new... Gesundheit. Come together. Right In fact, with technology changing... Over me. Iowa up by four with nine seconds less than four minutes to go. Fern, you just passed over stats. Haston, 12 points, 13 rebounds. But just think about how few touches he has had in the last 12 minutes of this game. He spent a lot of time sitting on that bench, and he's back on the bench now at a critical time. Unless there's something wrong with him, you can't afford to have him sitting down with 3.48 to go. Now, really an interesting move. Haston sits. There is Evans again, wide open. Problems are caused when he gets it in the low post. Give it right back to him. There it is, guarded by Jeffries. Over Jeffries off the glass. And as Scott goes up, boy, what a hustler he is. Hey, I'll tell you what. Scott has got, what do you say, 245 pounds he's carrying, but he is a terrific leaper. 
His dad was a high school football teammate of a guy named Tony Dungy. Bill Kelly just rewrote his will. To his wife, he'll leave two homes and his investment portfolio. He'll leave other assets to his children. All his beneficiaries are here. All except the IRS, who could get two-thirds of everything. See how we earn it. Solomon Smith Barney. There is a car moving in a new direction. Which direction are you moving in? The new Volvo S60. The Ravens obliterated their last three opponents. Is this the toughest team ever? The Giants find out. Super Bowl 35 is on CBS. CBS Sports coverage of the road to the Final Four is sponsored by Volvo. Volvo for life. Intel, get the power of three. The Intel Pentium 3 processor. And by Solomon Smith Barney. See how we earn it. Three and a half remaining, 67-63. And uh, Indiana, Iowa is in the bonus. If you're Mike Davis, what are you telling your kids? Well, the first thing I'm going to tell them is let's be aware of what press is going to face us on this out-of-bounds situation. And Haston is still sitting on that bench, 331 to go. The first thing I'd have done is told my assistant coaches, what's that kid's name? Let me get him back in the game. There's hey. no way he can be sitting over there now. Jeffrey Newton on for Haston. And I, 50. I would change their defense. They go back into the zone. Coverdale to Fife. Fife picked up by Oliver. Back outside. Owens from way outside. Now, you can get a better shot than that. You bring a freshman in the game. You've got your two regular backcourt players giving the ball up, and the freshman waiting to shoot over the top. Not a good possession for Indiana coming out of a timeout. Five passing Worley. Here's the cut from record. Guarded by Andre Owens. Goes over here. 25 points for Indiana. Lady Luke Rucker. Don't like the lineup on the floor at all for Indiana if you're going to try to come back in this one. They've gone small on the outside. Their leading scorer in this game sitting down. Well, Evans made Coverdale realize the whistle has been blown, so you hammered him on the jump shot. Good time to get by with a free foul. And here comes Haston back in the game. Courtney Scott picks up his third, and uh, nice applause as he heads to the bench. Solid minutes. Worley and Scott came in to really turn this thing around on the boards. Now, Jeffries is joined by Coverdale, Haston, Fife, and Newton for Indiana. This is the starting five in the floor. Skip pass. He's got Coverdale over here on the side, but... Not ready for it. Now the double on Haston from Evans. Loose on the baseline. Not very record. Out of bounds, Indiana. Boy, Newton had a wide open dunk. Wrecker stripped him. Two sixteen to go. And the, that's their last timeout because they can't get the ball inbounds. And it comes with Indiana down by six. She's in the black Bonneville. The Bonneville with Magnus Deer. It uses an advanced magnetic field for handling so precise, it can even outmaneuver itself. Stop all black Bonnevilles. SEI, Luxury with Attitude, by Pioneer. Litton off the spin, gets the garage.
Joseph's second half has given Iowa a lead at home. And uh, Steve Alford has a young team. He is a young coach, 35 years of age. Been successful at every step getting here. Tommy Amaker, Rod Barnes, Matt Doherty, Billy Donovan, Paul Hewitt doing an incredible job at Georgia Tech. Quinn Snyder at Missouri. I'll tell you, a lot of guys coming to the front, haven't been on that head coach's seat that long, but making big impacts in college basketball. Hastings in the corner. Here's Coverdale. We near the two-minute mark. Coverdale. My gracious. Great, great shot off the screen. Fife screen. Lead is three. I let Evans touch it again on the inside. Everything good has happened when they get the ball down to Evans. You have Wrecker running around, trying to come off and rub off screens. And here he comes again. Oliver penetrates, brings it back outside. Shot clock at 12. Good decision now. He's got to go ahead and flatten this thing out a little. 1-4 penetrate from the corner. Nope. Rebound, Coverdale. And a chance to tie with a three. another drop. Vern, I think if you go back to that last possession, Iowa did not get that ball down inside, and that's what they've got to do the rest of this game. Because Wrecker doesn't have that ability to slash off the dribble, he's really set with just the jump shot. Dean Oliver, the senior point guard, accompanied by roars from the crowd as he brings it across. Look at Wrecker moving with that ball. Pushing, shoving, trying to get open. Guarded by Fife, his one-time teammate again. Ball was kicked. Kicked. A fresh 35. Well, that really helps Iowa. I still think they can get it much easier than all of this movement. Just get the ball to Evans and get, then start cutting. Wrecker will inbound. Guarded by Fife. You know, I didn't know if he could go 10 minutes, so Rector's going to basically play 35 minutes again, right up on his average. There's Ryan Hogan in the backcourt. Everything is outside. They're not even looking for Evans inside. Evans is guarded by Jared Jeffries. He's almost pleading for the ball. Now he's going to set a screen. Shot clock at 15. Game clock 35. Oliver stole it from Rector. <laughs> up and under. Hogan came down. 28 seconds to go. Here's Jeffries. Coverdale passes on the three, drives, gets fouled. And will shoot a couple. Here's the lineup tonight on CBS. We begin with the greatest commercials from the Super Bowl, followed by Ricky Martin's Super Bowl Saturday night, and then MTV's Super Bowl Uncensored. That's tonight's lineup. Burn, I like Coverdale's decision here not to go for the three. He had the open lane. He's a strong, powerful guy. As I said before, he's more of a scorer than a shooter, so it was a good move. Time call. 23 seconds to go. This is Iowa. Bob, I might be a little late. Tell them I'll be there as soon as I can. Afternoon. Nextel, more ways than anyone to communicate with everyone. Iowa still holds uh, a three point edge. 23 seconds to go. Coverdale going to the line. Now, what do you think Steve Alford is discussing with his guy? Well, one of the things now you have to worry about my strategy about going to Evans, you don't want to put him on the foul line. Right. Coverdale will shoot. Big free throws here. Two of two today. That one never looked good when it left his hand. He'd almost be better off. He'd almost be better off missing this one. Yep. Given his chance, his team a chance to rebound. Stone let Iowa get the rebound. And there's a foul on against Wrecker. The last thing you want to do if you're Indiana. An 88-point free throw shooter. Hard to imagine how much this game means to Luke Wrecker. Well, 
he played at Purdue his first time back to the state of Indiana. They booed him there. Now that's something for a Indiana guy to come back to this state and get booed on a Purdue court. But then he he comes back playing against his old team today and had a sensational game. You know, I was very impressed from talking to Luke yesterday. We got talking about Bob Knight. And he was nothing but complimentary. Class in every respect. He holds Coach Knight with great esteem in terms of not only having an opportunity to play for him, but what he felt about him and, his, and, and what he meant to the history of basketball in Indiana. But today, he's making history in the state of Iowa. Seven points in 36 minutes on a bum leg. She's in the black Bonneville. The Bonneville with Magnus Deer. It uses an advanced magnetic field for handling so precise it can even outmaneuver itself. Stop all black Bonnevilles. SSEI, Luxury with Attitude, by Pontiac. 20.5 left in regulation. Five down, you don't have to get a three, but you got to get some points on the board quickly. Good job by Oliver to force them to take some time getting it inbounds. Coverdale brings it up, gets a screen from Fife. Boy, you can't take time holding the ball. You got to get shots up. Fife for three off the front edge. Chase down, saved by Luke Rooker. And he's going to hang on to it till he gets five. Might want to take this one home. Smart play by Rooker. As great as he played, and this tremendous heart this Iowa team put in it, to me, the key to this basketball game today were the Iowa fans. Their team was playing horrible, and they stuck with them. Tremendous thing to watch fans stick with the team. So easy to bail out, you know it? Yeah. <laughs> That's rare. He's missed three today. Off the glass. It's over. A remarkable comeback for the Iowa Hawkeyes. They were down 17 at the break. They come back and outscore Indiana 45-23 to win it. The Chevrolet most valuable players of the game. Kirk Haston from Indiana, Luke Rucker from Iowa. Chevrolet will make a contribution to each.